Well, thank you all for being here. I know this is the weekend. You also know, because you're here, that the Earth is warming, and it is very timely that we have the IPCC report, because that gives us a sense of the risk and the impact of global warming. Now, the impact on ecosystems and human communities are really rather serious. And of course, the impact falls mostly on the vulnerable and areas of less development. So besides working very hard on climate mitigation, which Secretary Wong talked about, we also need to invest time, effort, and substantial financial resources on resilience and on adaptation. And this is why we want to focus in this area. We had a taste in Hong Kong of extreme weather, as both Professor Wei Shi and K.S. Wong talked about. The report, if you haven't taken a look, from the IPCC is sobering. So there is a summary, and I hope you will spend a little time to look at it. You will hear more about climate science and the impacts at this conference. There are three plenaries, which will start very shortly. And in the afternoon and tomorrow morning, we have the workshops. Now, some of you have complained to me that this is the weekend, and it is not very kind of us to organize something on Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. But I hope you will bear with us. And I know there are many of you here who are experts and professionals in Hong Kong. <laughs> And I hope that you will spend time with us. So in the plenary, the idea is we have a number of global and local experts. We're going to touch on a range of issues. So you can get a broad understanding of the issues relating to adaptation and to resilience. In the afternoon, when we start the workshops, the workshops are designed for you to work with each other and with the experts to deliberate on this whole range of really very complex issues. And just to give you a taste, we're going to cover science, engineering, energy, water, food, biodiversity, landscape and vegetation, the oceans, which covers 71% of the planet's surface an issue we seldom talk about, but actually very important to climate change. We're going to cover ecosystems, every aspect of the built environment, mobility, smart city, finance, insurance, social equity, and philanthropy. So we will give you a little bit more information uh, this morning about which workshop you may wish to go to. And very finally, so what happens after we spend this time together. At HKUST, we will put together a video with some outcomes, so people who are not here can access it. The various sessions are videotaped, and they will be online. But more important, together with you and people at the workshop, we will put together a final report, a conference final report, which we will give to the government. We are very happy to be working with Development Bureau and Environment Bureau as partners. And of course, the five funding uh, organizations that have made this possible, they are in fact key stakeholders in Hong Kong on mitigation, adaptation, and resilience. So it is very important that we work closely with them. And at HKUST, we look forward to continuing relevant research, as well as engaging people and institutions across sector. Working in a multidisciplinary and cross-disciplinary manner is extraordinarily difficult. It sounds really easy, but it takes a different kind of capacity and willingness for people to spend time to come together to discuss complex issues. And we pledge at HKUST to work together with other universities and institutions and across society with government 
and with the corporate sector. So thank you for being here and thank you for coming on this journey with us. Thank you.